Hello, all you young people out there. Good to be with you again. Pastor John here, bringing you this week's time with our young people. I'd like to read to you a very special um, event that took place. Um, You can watch the pictures as I draw them, and you probably know what I'm drawing. But it's found in the book of Matthew, chapter 2. Jesus was born in the town of Bethlehem in Judea. During the time when Herod was king, Soon afterwards, some men who studied the stars came from the east to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the baby to be born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it came up in the east, and we have come to worship him. Now, when King Herod heard this, he was very upset, and so was everyone else in Jerusalem. He called together all the chief priests and the teachers of the law and asked them, Where will this Messiah be born? In the town of Bethlehem in Judea. For this is what the prophet wrote, Bethlehem, in the land of Judea, you are by no means the least of the leading cities of Judah, for from you will come a leader who will guide my people Israel. So Herod called the visitors from the east to a secret meeting and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem with these instructions. Go and make a careful search for the child. And when you find him, let me know so that I too may go and worship him. And so they left, and on their way they saw the same star they had seen in the east. When they saw it, how happy they were, and what joy was theirs. It went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. They went into the house, and when they saw the child with his mother Mary, they knelt down and worshipped him. They brought out their gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh, and presented them to him. Then they returned to their country to another by another road since God had warned them in a dream not to go back to Herod now they are the words from Matthew chapter 2 reading verses 1 to 12 you can um, ask your mum and dad to find that in the Bible if you want to and you can read it again at home now I've been drawing the three wise men as we call them with their gifts of gold frankincense and myrrh and Who did they come to worship? You know who they came to worship and give their gifts to, don't you? Jesus. And he wasn't in a bed, was he? He wasn't in a cot or a bed like we have. He was in a manger, in a stable. Jesus was born in a manger. That's really amazing. Jesus was born in such a humble, lowly place because he came to be the servant and saviour of all people. And I think, you know, when I listen to this story about Jesus, how humble and how small he was, and yet these amazing wise men from a long distant country came all this way just to give him those gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. How wonderful that is. And do you know the best part of the story that I like? It's the bit about the star. I like to go outside at night on a clear night and look up into the sky and look at all the millions of stars out there in the night sky. And sometimes I imagine, I wonder what it would have been like for those wise men. When they went outside one night to look at the star and study the stars, and suddenly this special star was there that they'd never seen before. They must have thought, What is this all about? And God would have helped them to realize that a new king, the king of the or savior of the world was born and they needed to follow that star. They wanted to follow that star so that they could go and worship Jesus and give them their gifts. You know, we give God gifts too, don't we? We give our money and the offering plate at church, but we also give gifts by helping people and loving and caring and serving. They're some of the gifts that we can give to God um, 
as we want to worship and worship Jesus, our Lord and Saviour. So I hope you've enjoyed the drawings that I've shared with you today. Um, the drawing of the wise men giving Jesus their gifts and then the drawing of the star over Bethlehem. I hope and pray that you've had a wonderful time this Christmas and I look forward to spending more time with you this year. All the best and God bless you, Pastor John. <music>